Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. It's been a minute, but I'm here now. <laughs> um, so funny story. Um, my last video that I uploaded like failed to upload and I just kind of gave up on YouTube for a little bit, but you know what? I'm not going to let that kill my spirit. Um, so I filmed a get ready with me on this look. This is like my everyday, like go-to, like supernatural glam look, and I hope you guys like it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, let's just get on into the video. So I've never done a get ready with me. Oh, you guys are just blessed, just like I am. And you're gonna get one. <laughs> Um, so I just have like my like simplest everyday makeup look. I am a medical assistant and this is actually the makeup look I wear to work every day. I'm going to start with the Ordinary's Silicone Primer and I love this primer. It's really nice. And I'm just going to go in. Ooh, looking a little, a little pink today. My skin has been acting really, really weird lately. I don't know what it is, if it's just stress hormones from like, you know, the beginning of the year. <laughs> it's mid-February. Um, I don't know what it is. I have clear skin and I am breaking out like everywhere. Well, right now I only have like one, but still, what the fuck? Anyways, after I apply my primer, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty. Let's see, is this the matte formula? Yes, the Pro Filter Foundation in Soft Matte. And this is color 200 and I'm actually going to be applying this with a foundation brush because when I'm getting ready for work I don't have time to clean my beauty blender because every time I use it I clean it or wet it child I do not have time so There looks like there's like a stray hair coming out, but I guess it's just gonna hang there. Anyway, so I'm gonna use a couple drops of that. And I love this foundation so much. I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. Because everyone was saying that it was like super dry. And it's actually like the perfect formula for my skin. So I really like it a lot. Now you guys are probably like, Brooke, I thought we were gonna get more interesting videos than like makeup, but like, I've been really sucking with YouTube lately because I filmed, so at the end of February, no, at the end of January, I filmed a video that I thought was like 20 minutes long maybe and it was actually like an hour long okay first of all though no one wants to watch an hour long video um, if you guys do let me know um, but you know I decided I was like damn it like it felt like so short and it was a video going over my favorite products of January, like my favorites and disappointments. And it was so funny and like, I don't know, I was really, it was when I was like excited about YouTube still. And I still am, like you guys, like I'm here. Um, but I took me forever to upload first of all. And then it took me forever to edit and then it took me forever to upload to YouTube. And then after taking so long, like it was pending 
like in the pending downloads on my YouTube like homepage for like, I don't know, like three days. Um, girl, that video failed to upload after three days of me, of it like processing. And I'm new to YouTube, so I don't freaking know. Like, I don't know. Like, girl, I don't know. So I'm waiting for it to upload and I'm like, okay, I guess it's just taking a little longer than usual because it's a long video. No, it failed to upload and I kind of broke my spirit to be honest. But yeah, so that happened. I was really sad. I spent a lot of time on that video. So I'm going in with concealer and I really just use concealer to like highlight parts of my face. Um, to give myself dimension. So I put it underneath my eyes, um, above my lip, and then on my chin. And now I'm just going to buff it out. And again, this is my everyday look. So, I mean, it may be a lot, but girl, when you see how much makeup I put on when I go out, or when I have an event to go to, it's another level. So, just saying. So, just gonna buff that in. Gorgeous. And we got the other side blended. Make sure we get our nose. So now I'm already getting like dimension in my face where I didn't have it before, um, which is good. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I don't really like cream contour highlighting unless I'm like going out like for a night on the town, then I will. But for just like every day, I don't. I don't think it's necessary. Um, but you do you. Like, everyone does their makeup differently, you know? So now I'm going to go in with the Born This Way. Well, I have the top in my hand. But the Born This Way um, Ethereal Setting Powder. I freaking love this powder. It's so good. It just sets the skin perfectly. It just like blends in like with your skin. It's so gorgeous. And it doesn't make you look dry. You know that like dry, like cakey look that looks really gross. Um, it makes like, it, it makes it look like you have like a mask on. Um, this doesn't do that. It just makes the makeup like melt into the skin. Like it's really nice. Um, yeah, I really love this powder. If I had the patience to do another favorites video, I would include it. Maybe I will have the patience. Guys, I talked about so many products. I don't know how. I really don't know how. I was talking for like more than an hour. But after I edited it, I got it down to like 45 minutes. But that's still just like way too long. So I got lazy and I was like, damn, this YouTube shit is like a lot of hard work. Cause it is, like it's so much work. So now I'm going in with the Hikari Island Glow Blush. Now this brand, like I did not buy this. I was actually given this in my Beautycon bag when I went to Beautycon in August and um, I don't like to waste makeup. Where did the product go? It's not that great of a product. Like I'm not using it because it's like, oh my God, it's so great. Like, no, I'm using it every day because I have it and it works like it does the job. It's like a really natural like contour color. I actually really do kind of like it. I'm making it sound like I don't like it, but I do like it. I wouldn't be using it if I didn't like it. I would have given it to somebody. 
or I would have thrown it away. Um, I would have found it at home, either in the trash or with someone who liked it. Um, but no, I do like it. It's like buildable, so you can like build like a color to it. Um, but it is like not the best. Um, I'm just using it because like I go through makeup like crazy, as any girl probably does. Um, and so like for everyday makeup looks, like when I'm going to work, because I am a medical assistant, like my makeup does not have to look like amazing. Like, of course I want it to look really good and like that's what I'm doing, but um, I don't need to use like, you know, a Marc Jacobs bronzer or my Kat Von D shade and light palette to um, have a good contour. Like I j it's just not necessary, so. Um, I just think it's one of those things where you should buy like nice products for when you want to go out and you want your makeup to look snatched and then everyday products should be like things like this or the highlight I'm going to be using is Wet n Wild like it's just stuff you're going to be using every day so you don't want to like go through your designer makeup like every day unless you want to. But I like to hold on to mine for as long as possible. <laughs> um, so after I do my contour, which is done, it's like nice and natural. Um, and I didn't do anything down here because for an everyday makeup look, I don't think it's necessary to be super snatched. Like I do, I mean, I'm going to be working with people all day, um, rooming patients, like talking to them about their health and I really like don't need to look like a makeup artist at work so I just don't like I I don't snatch my face this is a natural a natural look <laughs> so now I'm going in with a Japanesque blush in the shade let's see is there a shade on here I love this blush my best friend gave it to me and it's like turned out to be one of my favorites. It's shade number two. It's the Velvet Touch Blush. And as you can tell, I've been loving it. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. So I'm going in with a Morphe M530. Ever since I bought this brush, I've loved doing my blush. I'm not gonna try saying that 10 times as fast because it'll just sound like a mess but it's the best blush brush so I'm just gonna go in here I'm not gonna tap off any excess because I know how this blush is and it's kind of light so I'm just gonna dust it on the apples of my cheeks very pretty very pretty very natural blush like that looks really good you can see like the look coming together okay so now I'm going to go in with my quick fix by Urban Decay it's one of my favorite sprays As you can tell, freaking love it. Just makes your makeup like melt into the skin. Um, <coughs> I inhaled a little bit of it. That one smells like coconuts and I freaking love it. Um, so now I'm gonna go into the Wet n Wild highlighter. It's the Mega Glow highlighter in Golden Flower Crown. How ironic! <laughs> How ironic! So I'm going in with a Morphe brush. And this is where the drama comes in because I love being glowed up. I don't care if I'm at work. I want to glow. I'm going to go in on the other side. I'm going to reach my forehead just for that little touch. And go into the nose and the lips. We are all glowed up. Look how pretty that is. 
Now, like, this is, like, my natural look, but the glow is definitely, like, kind of dramatic. And, like, that's my signature. Like, that's, like, that's my look. Like, that's work. Like, at work, like, everyone's like, oh, like your highlight. Like, that's my look. So now I'm going to go in with a brow pencil. Now, usually I'm using Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But... For my everyday look, like I said, I like to use cheap products because I do go through them like crazy. Um, this is the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. Now, this is not like the Brow Wiz, and like just because I'm using it and it looks similar does not mean that it's like the Brow Wiz at all because it's not. Um, the way it goes on is just like so different number one number two the way it fades is so different so like the way I do my brows I kind of just like do like light feathery strokes to make like natural looking hairs because I don't like looking like my brows are done um, and then by the end of the day with this brow pencil my brows look like just one big brow which I'm okay with like it doesn't fade awful like if it did I wouldn't use it um but it definitely like doesn't look the same by the end of the day and the brow wiz does so you know but this is work makeup this is makeup that I put on to go to work in yeah can't stress that enough this is, what, this is my like quick, like quick glam look. Because yes, I do like looking glam, but yeah, that's just, that's it. So I still need lip color and my hair is not done. So I will be right back. This is the final look. Um, I think it looks good. Yeah, this is like my everyday look. Um, I will detail the products below of what I used and you guys can, um, use them every day so you can save coins, um, instead of using like expensive products that like you really don't need to use like every day, like at all. Um, but yeah. There'll, there will be more exciting videos in the future, I promise. <laughs> um, I just like, it hasn't, yeah, I haven't been putting the effort that I like should into um, creating content lately. Um, yeah, I really should because I love you guys and I love creating content. And I just love teaching and inspiring and whatever else. I just love being here now. Like, let's be here. Let's be now. God, I'm not making any sense. Um, but yeah, like, I will be uploading this week. And I will be uploading, I'm going to try twice a week. I have no content and I need some freaking content. Okay. So yeah, 